In August of 2020, I was drawn to Mascone Leather for several reasons. One is, he has an excellent YouTube channel. He knows how to edit, to, I mean, they're fascinating. If you haven't looked, go over, take a look. His videos draw you in. And he knows who he is. He knows what he likes. Well, let me take a look at, whew. Yeah, well, anyway, <clears throat> besides that, uh, he loves leather and wallets. And because of that, I was hooked. So I immediately ordered the Rooney wallet but uh, he said it would take roughly one year. Yeah, you heard me right. Here we have the wallet. This is a, a whole lot of fun going on here. We've got a key ring, nice leather. Looks like it's uh, hand sewn as well. Here's the order tag. I uh, got it July of last year and I did have red stitching, red thread used. Nice uh, Horween stamp there. And look at this, this is his these are his initials, Artie Shell. Very clever. Looks like a dollar sign to me. And so a lot going on. Let's get this opened up. Let's get the string out of the way. And this packaging looks a bit involved, so I'm going to speed this up for us since it took a little while to get into it. All righty, here we go. Finally, like Christmas, and cotton bag. All right, let's get this wallet out. Here is the Rooney. Loving this. Nice light brown Horween Dublin. Nice burnishing paint on the edges here. Good finish. Color offset is nice there, as well as this leather or this red thread that I chose. I quite like that. All hand sewn. And let's uh, take a look at the inside now. Got the uh, flesh side in the center there. You can see I like that. And a slot on the left. And all the the tops of these uh, slots are burnished and painted as well. And there is multiple layers of leather in here. Look at that pull up. That pull up is great from this. Horween Dublin. Uh, let's get the card out of here. You can find Artie in all these places. And nice stamp. Very unobtrusive. I like that. A bit thick. We'll kind of talk a little bit about that, but otherwise, really loving this wallet. So, well, let's keep on going. While waiting my 46 weeks for delivery, I had time to explore Mascon Leather. Established in 2016 by Artie Shell, Artie had spent his career in the banking industry with a family heritage in construction and masonry, which is where his name came from. Mascon was his father's construction company, which is kind of a nice tribute, I really think. But he fell in love with leather, prompting him to change his career and pursue the life of a leather maker and artist. There are no features on the exterior, no quick access slots, nothing, just nice, beautiful leather. If we go to the interior, we can notice we have one, two, three, and four card slots, one to three cards in each, plus cash, you know, folded over once if they're the smaller currency types. And that is about the feature set we have here. Nice wallet. You can see it fits nicely in the front pocket, slides in, back pocket, no issues as well. Not right sized. I have to be honest, the first thing I thought of when I heard Artie's name was Shell Cordovan. What a cool association, Artie Shell, Shell Cordovan, love that. Besides Artie's YouTube channel, he also has a growing Instagram site with carefully curated shots that are engaging and really worth a look. You can kind of see these over here. Uh, but you know, time kept ticking and I was really wondering if the wallet was gonna show up on time. This is not something you order for Christmas unless you're a super planner. That said, Artie recently changed his order processes to limited slots every month to fulfill custom orders as well as more ready-made items for sale. He calls them instant sales, instant auctions, and limited edition categories that allow customers to obtain a mask on leather wallet more readily. It measures 4.3 by 3.1 by 0.6, and it weighs 97 grams. Lot of leather goodness there. This is designed and made in the United States. The Mask on Leather Studio is located in Artie's home in Williamsburg, Pennsylvania. Beautiful part of the United States. This is handmade from Horween Dublin leather, and you can see the hand stitching here. Notice the stitching on the inside because we have two layers of leather that's together. Look at those nicks. Man, that was from the measuring. Sorry, that didn't come that way. Beautiful wallet. Look at the burnishing here on all the edges. It's painted, burnished, looks really, really good. And it weighs, it costs $150, but that's the custom look. Now, look at this. It's it's built for right hand, or if you flip it, for left hand. Allows easy access for your thumb and finger to get cards in and out of there. And the leather is super supple because of its horween. You can see the pull up here as I 
I'm going to crease that a bit. Ah, that's fantastic. You can rub that out, not a problem. It is a little bit thick at 0.6 inches, but that said, it has a lifetime guarantee against all defects. With a couple of weeks left to meet the 46 week deadline, I reached out to Artie about it. I, I can't remember what I had for lunch, let alone keeping track of thousands of orders over a, a long period of time like he has to. So my expectations were measured. Artie replied back almost immediately that he was working on it as we spoke and as we were communicating and expected it to be delivered on the expected date. And as you can guess, it was. I never thought he wouldn't deliver. I just have no idea what it's like to have hundreds of probably thousands of orders all lined up for fulfillment. What it shows is his level of professionalism as a, as a one-man shop choosing to keep it simple but effective. He does it all. All the marketing, all the advertising. Oh, true one-man shop. Now, in the end, the wallet was well worth it, and the mystique of the man and the company makes the scarcity factor of owning one of his wallets even better. So now on to the final score. For quality of five, price of two, features of three, usability of four, and perception of five. That gives us a final score of 40 out of 50. If you want to see other great handmade wallets, look at these videos here, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.